Way down deep in the forest, where the grizzenboars roam, all the fairy souls weep, for they want to go home. They cower in dark hidey holes, trembling with fear, flooding ringfinger forest with a river of tears. Now you can't hear a fairy, its voice is too high, but they're lost in the forest, so that's why they cry. But the fairies were tricked, at least so it is said. They were lured to the forest with hot ginger jam breads. They were stolen away by the witch of the east, a wild-eyed black crone who loved fine fairy feasts. The witch hatched a plan on a wild stormy night to steal all the fairies from the land of the light. I'll fool those sweet fairies, said the witch with a grin, as she scratched at the hairs on the point of her chin. And in a rusty round cauldron, the witch brewed a spell that blew bright yellow smoke puffs with a hideous smell. She mixed bat wings and eyeballs with the breath of a snake, fresh blue unicorn's blood and the squeal of a drake. One sip took the witch, then she wriggled and frowned and turned into a princess in a flowing white gown. With full rose petal lips and long flowing gold hair, the witch now turned princess was ever so fair. <coughs> then at dawn the next day, the new princess witch climbed down to the bottom of a deep, soggy ditch. She called out on the wind. I'm stuck way down here. Can anyone help me? Knowing just who would hear. On a hill by a brook, near a tall rainbow tree, stood the high fairy castle called Sweet as Can Be. So from Sweet as Can Be, all the fairies rushed down to rescue the princess in the flowing white gown. As reward for your help, she told Sweet as Can Be, you must visit my palace. Come tomorrow at three. I'm having a party and it's bound to be fun. There's a fairground and balloon rides and hot ginger jam buns. There'll be iced lemon cream cakes claimed the Witch of the East, with bright orange fizz water, so please come to my feast. Come one and come all to share magic and jokes. Then the Witch gave a map to those fine fairy folks. She carved out some signs with her long yellow nails in the bark of the trees and laid spider silk trails. Just follow the signs and you'll find your way here. Take this path through my forest. There's nothing to fear. But she gave them a warning, a dark message of doom. Don't stray from the path if you see a blood moon. The forest has ogres who will gobble you up and will slurp up your blood from a fairy skull cup. They live out in the wastelands in the marsh to the west, but they hunt in the trees here and can smell fairy breath. They have eyes big as saucers that shine oh so bright when the moon rises slowly, like the blood moon tonight. Just follow the pathway, said the witch with a grin, and my spider silk trails will guide all of you in. But I'll send you some helpers to make sure that you are fine. So the witch sent two goblins, called Grizzenbeard and Scrine. They had bodies like scarecrows, all twist spindly thin, with long, sharp, pointy noses and crooked, sly grins. Six toes on each foot and ten warts on their chins, all hunched like a bog sprike with pale green scaly skin. Now, all goblins are twisty. They tell lies all the time. But the worst of all goblins were Grizzenbeard and Scrine. Follow us, you sweet fairies, called the goblins as one. 
We know we look strange, but we're really quite fun. But while Grizzenbeard led them and told them tall tales, Scrine crept quietly behind them, cutting spider silk trails. So the witch hung the fairies in a cage made of bones from a hook in the cellar in Hag's Haven, her home. She roasted some whole on a rickety spit, then peeled them and ate them until she felt sick. She laughed and she cackled as she gobbled them up, using rib bones for toothpicks and fairy skulls for cups. Now at every full blood moon, a new fairy hunt starts, where the witch and her friends practice dark magic arts. The witch calls to the sea hags with their seaweed blue hair. Tonight is the fairy hunt. Please say you'll be there. Sea hags are scaly. Their skin smells of grease. They feed on young mermaids, but love fine fairy feasts. Then the witch casts a spell with a zoom flame of fire, calling ghosts from the forest and grey ghouls from the mire. She calls blood-sucking elves to crawl out of their graves, to suck hot, sticky blood from her sweet fairy slaves. And on Crimson Wrath Mountain, from the high, jagged rocks, calls down Grimdel Hack Troll with his slavering wet chops. Better run for your lives now, the hunting horns sing. The hunters are coming to peel off your skin. And with one last dark spell, she makes the fairies all glow. Then the night hunt begins with red wolves and black crows. Beneath crimson red moonbeams, the hunt lasts all night, and the fairies they chase cry through to the light. But they never escape from the wolves or the crows or the grimdle hack troll with his squint crooked nose. So if you're out in the forest and see spider silk trails or signs cut in the trees by someone's sharp nails, don't follow the pathway, just turn right about, for Scrine might be watching, and you might not get out. And if a voice on the wind calls out, Come to my feast, then run for your life. It's the Witch of the East. <laughs>